What's up tech gang, Stefan here from TechRide. Today we're going to be doing the gaming review on the new Umidigi A3 Pro. Stay tuned. Alright guys, as you know, this is a $95 phone, so a very, very affordable phone. Um, I do have a ton of gripes about this phone though, and that will be shown in the full review. But if you guys do want to see the unboxing and first impressions, I will leave that in the description down below. But in this video, we're going to try out a few games and see if they can run on this device. And if they can, see how well they run on this device. So the three games we have is Helix Jump, Temple Run, and we have PUBG Mobile. Now, Temple Run is Temple Run 2. It's not the OG Temple Run. So, a little bit more graphic intensive on this side. Uh, but we're going to go from least graphic intensive all the way to most graphic intensive, which is PUBG Mobile. So, let's go ahead and start this off. So, we have Helix Jump right here. And, guys, I'm going to say this in the full review. But this has one of the worst fingerprint sensors I have ever used in my entire life. So, I just ended up using the face recognition tool inside of here. I, I have some opinions about this phone. I have a ton of opinions. That I would like to say in the review, and uh, I'm probably going to talk about that in the full review very, very shortly. All right, guys. So as you guys see, it runs fine. Um, there are some dropped frames, as you guys can see. Even though we do have a, you know, four gigabytes of RAM inside of here, it looks like we have a quad-core processor, I believe, inside of this device as well. Uh, but it runs fine for the average person. This game is going to run fine. You know, the average person. Obviously, there's ads on this game, uh, but for the average person, this game will run fine on the phone. Uh, let's go ahead and try one more level real quick. So as you guys see, the game is running fine. Um, you know, it, it, it doesn't run the best, honestly, and I can't expect that much from a $95 phone. Um, but yeah, it runs fine on this game. You can definitely run this game on this device. So having Helix jump out of the way, let's go to a fan favorite, Temple Run 2. Let's go and see what happens. All right, so we have Temple Run 2 loaded up. Let's go ahead and see how this plays. My opinions, I think it's going to play uh, just fine, actually, because this is, you know, not too graphic intensive or you don't need a huge, powerful phone to run this game. Um, but yeah, so far it's running decent. Let's see how it goes. Let's see actually how far we can get in this game. Um, going side to side works fine. So the sensors are fine as far as that goes. It's definitely sensing going to the right and the left. So that's good, especially in mobile gaming. Uh, but let's go ahead and see how far we can get. So as you guys saw, the game ran perfectly, essentially. I did notice a few dropped frames, but other than that, the game did run pretty well. And the last and final game I want to run on this phone is PUBG Mobile to see if it can run on this device. Alright guys, so as we see here, we have the low graphics quality. That's what the preset's going to be on. It's going to be on low graphics. So as you guys see, you guys can set it to medium uh, if you want. I believe in the graphics thing, but I would keep it on low. Definitely if you're playing on this phone, this is a $95 device. So keep the graphics on low and click OK. We're going to go ahead and boot up a game right now and uh, see how this runs. All right, guys. So in the beginning, I know it's going to be like super, super glitchy. So I'm just going to wait till we drop from the plane and see what happens. And this is actually an online match. This isn't just like some single player thing. So first and foremost, drop frames like crazy. Like it's it's insane drop frames like it's it's <laughs> it's running so bad right now. Um, we're going to hit the ground. We're going to see what happens. So we're going to try to get in some combat situations and let's see if there's going to be drop frames that we're having right now it's probably honestly what i think is going to happen is it's going to run you know fine enough to play um that's how i feel but it's probably going to have a ton of drop frames like we're seeing at the moment but yeah let's drop and see what happens because you never know all right guys so we're on the ground right now jumping looking around wow this is very very sluggish um Still playable at the moment, still playable, definitely still playable. I'm not going to say it's not playable because I know some people will play on this mode. Um, let's go ahead and pick up some weapons though and see what see what happens. Alright, so I see somebody, someone's shooting at me. Where are they at? Who is that? Wow, this is super glitchy. Go 
go ahead and reload, but this is running so terrible right now. I see this dude right there though. Let's see if we can go in and get a kill. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, Laura99. But you're, you're pretty much dead, bud. <laughs> I mean, for those who want to play this, you guys can try it on this phone. But this runs terribly so far. Um, yeah, this runs insanely bad right now. Let's go ahead and see if we can get that vector real quick. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is still very, very sluggish. Would not recommend this phone trying to game on PUBG, but if you guys are trying to, um, the game is going to run, but I don't know how, you know, you're going to be able to play this because I can hardly play it. It's so very glitchy. As you guys see, you have graphics loading in, like the trees loading in as we walk. So the graphics are going to be like very, very bad um, right off the bat. Uh, but the gameplay is even even worse like I w it would be fine if the graphic loadout was you know was there was problems with it but gameplay is too poor honestly for me to play on this device I really you know wouldn't play on this device <laughs> I wouldn't habitually play on this device um, but if you just take it out and maybe you know play with a friend or something like that that'd be cool um, but as far as you know playing on this device i can i can feel that it's getting hot on the back of the phone already it already feels like it's getting a little warm it's only been about a f two three minutes um let's see if we can get another kill right here oh i see the dude right there we got some guy right here there we go knocked him I, I see I don't see how I'm still knocking people uh, and killing people but okay <laughs> I guess people are just very very bad at this game uh, but yeah it, this 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 phone would be decent for a kid for like their first phone or something like that um, but for a hardcore gamer not nah, I, I would definitely get a better budget phone obviously it plays those other games like I said before like I showed you guys Whoa, 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 let's see if we can get this kill right here. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't know if these are bots, but their aim is so terrible, and I'm playing on a laggy, laggy phone. Um... But yeah, I'm playing on a very laggy phone and still, still getting kills. I don't, I don't know what's up with that. Um, but I definitely wouldn't play this habitually. Um, if you guys are, you know, you know, beginners and you guys don't really give a damn about really graphics or anything and don't care how it runs and you just want to, you know, occasionally play a game, I guess. But honestly, this is too laggy even for me to have fun with. I feel like I would get very, very mad very quickly. Um, so yeah, definitely tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. I think it ran pretty horrible. Uh, some of you might think it's good for your standards, but I think it ran very, very horribly. Nonetheless, though, what do you guys think? I know Helix Jump ran perfectly, Temper Run ran perfectly, but PUBG Mobile, that's a whole different story. Definitely tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below as well as subscribing if you guys are not a part of the tech gang already. Tell me what you guys want me to do with the A3 Pro in the comments down below. Also, turn on the notifications if you guys want to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, tech gang.